Come in, please. How are you? Well, uh, take a seat. Right, uh, my name is Michael O'Connor. I'll be representing you in this case. Now then, I'm going to take down a few details, as formalities, you know. Yes, well, uh, name? You already know my name. I, m I must know your full name, please. K. Kevin what? Kevin Ashworth. Your address? Can I have your address, please? You bloody well know my goddamn name and address. And everything else. So why do we have to piss about with all this crap? Quite frankly, Kevin, as things stand, you haven't much hope in this case. Now, the best thing I can advise is that you cooperate and answer my questions. Now, listen. The way the courts see it is this. If you're not mad, then there's no case against you. However, it's most people's opinion that you're criminally insane. You speak of having special powers. You can't control them. Now look, if I can make them believe that you're not mad, then there's no case against you and you can go free. Now there's some inconclusive report here from the psychologist. Something about recommending that you be assessed by other bodies. That you have problems. In layman's terms, he hasn't got a clue. He hasn't. What? He hasn't got a clue. What do you mean? Well, he doesn't know anything. Look, Kevin, I'm trying to believe, contrary to everybody else's opinions, that you're a normal, sane human being. But you do believe me, don't you? Okay, let's start from the beginning. I said, you do believe me, don't you? Believe what? My powers. What powers? You know about my powers. I know what they told me. And what did they tell you? Oh, something about psychic ability. So you do believe? <laughs> well, I... Uh... So that's it, then? No, Kevin, no, that's not it. Now, my reputation's at stake here. It's my job to make you out to be a normal, sane, healthy human being, and listen to the charges brought against you. 
I've never heard of anyone in your situation using the story of psychic ability as an excuse to cause fatal accidents. But, but I am innocent. You're not making sense. Mike. I'm scared. No, it's who you're scared. I'm scared of what it might happen to me. My powers. Banged up in a padded cell seems quite likely. You don't believe me, do you? Just tell me everything that happened. Okay. I was feeling really depressed. Down, you know. I just went out to buy some fags. was it. Before she died, she accused me of her death. And all the eyewitnesses present said that I looked half crazy. Kevin, in terms of solid evidence, the courts have nothing against you. Now forget what the eyewitnesses said they saw. The courts are only to believe that you're slightly mad and that's it, you're done, my son. Now I can't present a case if you're prattling on about psychic attractions. The judge doesn't believe in ghosts. But I don't give a shit about the sodding judge. Now look, you don't understand, do you? The judge is the least of my problems. I'm scared of myself. Kevin, what, what are you talking about? Listen to me. I have powers that I don't understand. You mean these psychic powers? Yes, yes, these psychic powers. Okay. Kevin, I'm a solicitor. It's my job to sort out people's legal cases. I'm not a parapsychologist or whatever. Yes, you're a solicitor, and I'm in trouble. I don't think I can help you, Kevin. But you must. All you have to do is believe in my problems. But clearly, I don't understand your problems. All right, what exactly are your problems? If only someone would understand, we'd be halfway there. Believe what, though? Believe that I'm innocent. Believe that I'm sane. Believe that I, I have got these psychic powers which is leading me to do dangerous things that I can't control. Do you believe me? Can you prove to me these powers that you have? I don't know. Now, it would make things a lot simpler for both of us if you could somehow prove to me these powers you claim to have. But that's just it. I have no control. You don't believe me, do you? I don't know. But you must! Must I? Why must I? What have I got to believe in? You! You're brought here accused of being some manic depressive who drove a woman to her death. You talk about psychic ability you can't show me. It doesn't seem to be much to believe in, does it? So you don't believe me? I just don't see how I can help you. Quite honestly, I feel useless in this situation. Then you then you'll run away from the truth. But clearly I don't know what the truth is. As I say, if you can't show me these psychic powers, then why should I believe you? Do you believe in the paranormal? I don't honestly know. Look, Kevin, there's not much point going on with this argument. I'm a solicitor with work to do. I can't spend all my time with some half-crazed prat who thinks he's got if I find another solicitor. Goodbye. Oh, no, you don't. Now, just look here, mate. I don't think that's very nice. It's held by what? None of the people's prejudice is held against me. Then let's just say you'll start and cooperate with me, okay? 
And what do you think I'm doing for you now? You're going to get me away from this establishment, away from custody. And then we'll take it from there, okay? Are you bloody joking? It's a small matter of security in this place. And who do you think I am, anyway? Oh, you can just forget it, mate. Ha, 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 ha. 